secretin which is released from the S cell of the duodenal or small intestinal mucosa. Acid chyme in the duodenum stimulates secretions rich in water and bicarbonate but poor in enzymes. So whenever the acid chyme enter into the duodenum it stimulates the secretions which is rich in water and bicarbonate but poor in the enzymes. So here the stimulus for the release of secretin hormone is the acid chyme. Second one cholecystokinin which is a hormone and it is released from the eye cells of the small intestinal mucosal cells. These are the digestive products of the proteins and fats in the duodenum stimulate secretion of pancreatic juice rich in enzymes. So here the stimulus for the release of cholecystokinin is the digestive products of proteins and fat. Most important thing you have to remember that the stimulus for the release of secretin hormone it is the acid chyme whereas the stimulus for the release of cholecystokinin hormone it is the digestive products of proteins and fat. Both hormones are secreted by upper intestinal cells. So first of all about the secretin acid in the duodenal lumen whenever there is acid is present inside the duodenal lumen there will be the increased secretin release from the duodenal mucosa or the S cells of the duodenal mucosa as it is a hormone it is carried by the blood and it stimulates the pancreatic duct cells to release the sodium bicarbonate so there will be the increased secretion of aqueous sodium bicarbonate solution into the duodenal lumen. So that is the important thing how the secretin is released and what it will do. So acid in the duodenal lumen stimulates the S cells of the intestinal mucosa to release the secretin hormone into the blood. Via the blood it is act upon the pancreatic duct cells and it will cause increase in the secretion of aqueous sodium bicarbonate solution into the duodenal lumen. So that is the importance of secretin hormone. Now second one cholecystokinin. How the cholecystokinin stimulation occurs as well as what it will cause. So fat and protein products in the duodenal lumen going to stimulate the eye cells of the duodenal mucosa to release the cholecystokinin hormone as it is a hormone it is carried by the blood and it will having the stimulatory effect over the pancreatic acinar cells so there will be the increased secretion of pancreatic digestive enzymes into the duodenal lumen so that is what the effect of this uh, cholecystokinin hormone so stimulus for the release of cholecystokinin hormone it is the fat and protein products into the duodenal lumen so it will cause the stimulation of the eye cells of the duodenal lumen so there will be the increased secretion of cholecystokinin or increased release of cholecystokinin hormone into the blood it is carried by the blood and it having the stimulation or stimulatory effect over the pancreatic acinar cells and it increase the secretion of pancreatic digestive enzymes into the duodenal lumen. Once this secretion of pancreatic digestive enzymes is already present into the pancreatic juice and once the pancreatic juice is released into the small intestine this going to act on the fat and protein products into the duodenal as well as small intestinal lumen and it going to digest fat and protein products alright. And here once the sodium bicarbonate is released inside the pancreatic juice and once the pancreatic juice is released into the duodenum or the small intestine it is going to neutralize the acid in the duodenal lumen alright. So both the hormones having the different stimulation effect as well as the different response the most important and the GIT hormones will be asked as a short note and you have to mention Castrin hormone which is released from the G cells of the stomach, secretin hormone which is released from the S cells of the small intestine and cholecystokinin hormone which is secreted from the I cells of the small intestine. Alright, so these three important hormones you must have to mention in the short note of GIT hormones.